Murphy's Law says that anything that can go wrong will eventually go wrong, and it seems that the game industry has its own new law. If it can go Epic exclusive, it will go Epic exclusive. People were preparing for the news before it was even officially announced, but indeed, it does turn out that Borderlands 3, a long-awaited, highly anticipated game from Gearbox Software, will be exclusive to the Epic Store for six months. Now, if you can believe it, if you can summon up the imagination to believe it, Gamers are upset, mostly just in general, but also specifically upset about Borderlands 3's epic exclusivity, just like they were upset about The Outer Worlds' exclusivity and Metro's exclusivity. Epic is going on a spending spree. Now, when folks in the game community are upset, one of their favourite things to do is review bombs. Pretty hard to do for Borderlands 3 since it's not out, and the Epic Store certainly doesn't have user reviews, so they've taken to the previous games, the good games, and review bombed the hell out of those. The reviews being left, of course, complain about the Epic Store exclusivity for Borderlands 3. Here's a nice bit of artwork someone made. Whenever I talk about review bombing on the thegymquisition.com, I have a running joke where in any review bomb situation, someone will call something a slap in the face, so we have that too. Excellent work. People are working out their anger and their frustration, but I don't think it's going to change any minds, especially when I think collectively we probably don't have enough money to outbid Epic, if, even if we all club together. And that's what it comes down to, money plain and simple. And that's something I want to talk about right now while I have your attention, while I have you. As I've explained before, I appreciate how angry people are at Epic getting all the exclusivity, if only for the fact that the Epic Game Store is undercooked. It's missing basic features. The Gymporium.com, my beloved merchandise website, has a shopping cart. I've got a shopping cart. The Epic Game Store has spent months without a shopping cart. That's nonsense. The roadmap of content it has rolling out for the Epic Game Store contains many features that should have been there already. Bargain basement, bottom level features. Right now it offers a shitty service compared to Steam, but game companies don't care about that. Game companies don't care about your enjoyment, your convenience. Not when there's money on the line. At this time, I think it's well worth remembering a lesson that has been taught time and time and time again. Game companies aren't your friends. They don't respond to your feelings being hurt. They don't respond to you feeling uh, kicked out, uh, excluded, s indeed slapped in the face. They don't give a shit about you. They don't give a fuck about you. And I'm not saying that to insult you. They should give a fuck about In an ideal world, game companies, corporations in general, would give a shit about the customers. But they don't view you as customers, they view you as consumers. Your job is to sit down, shut up, and shovel all of their content into your face. People have said that what Epic is doing isn't competition. People who, who even believe in the free market have said that, oh, well, what Epic is doing isn't competition. Uh, and on some level, I do agree with you, it's aggression, but it doesn't offer true competition. It doesn't offer customers a better service. But there's that phrase, don't hate the player, hate the game. Now, when it comes to the this industry, the AAA industry, I think you can hate the player and the game. The players in this case being companies like Epic and companies like Gearbox, uh, who have gone over there, you know, 2K Games as well being involved, who have taken the deal taken the money and I am more concerned with with these big companies that don't really need it when it comes to indie developers I understand the epic deal being a lot more tantalizing you know I've already gone on record as saying because it's true that the epic store blatantly offers a better deal there's more visibility over there and they get fucking money and a, and a really good revenue split for it but that is besides the point the point being that you can hate the players but look at the playing field that they're operating in it might not be true competition in your eyes but it's competition that's more than allowed in this rampant unchecked capitalistic economic system we have valve enjoyed a stranglehold on pc digital distribution 
distribution and that same system that Valve benefited from is being used by Epic now to throw its money around and essentially buy its way to the top of the food chain. And if you've got a problem with that, it's not enough to just get mad at Epic and to just get mad at a game like Borderlands 3. By all means, be mad at those. I'm not telling you you can't be. But I just think it would benefit everyone to examine the fact that Epic can do this in the first place. That all it takes is having enough money banked away already to seriously threaten the competition. Now, many of us have said for many years that Valve needs good competition. It's why I welcomed the emergence of the Epic Store in the first place. But something struck me when I got into a, a discussion with a friend of mine about this, and they said, like, a lot of people want competition, but they don't want that competition to come from Tencent, a company that has a sizable stake in Epic Games. They don't want Tencent involved. They don't want Epic to be the ones holding the keys to the gates of PC digital distribution. And I responded by saying, unfortunately, in the economic system we have, it takes a company like Epic, it takes the backing of a company like Tencent, to provide that competition. If simply making a good service is all it took to truly compete with something on the scale of Steam, then, I don't know, good old games would be the number one launcher of choice across the globe. Now, when it comes to true long-term competition, I do still believe that service is above all crucial and that people do tend to gravitate to whatever's the most convenient way to get their content. But in order to get eyes on that service, Epic's done almost, and, and listen to me when I say this, within this economic system, within a system of unchecked capitalism that's gone on as far as it has, Epic is doing the objectively, the free from emotion, the objectively correct thing. But that system is incorrect. That needs severe course correction. There shouldn't be single individuals sitting on billions of dollars and doing fuck all with it for a start. Even as someone who has said that Epic's deal is superior, the fact that Epic hasn't stopped buying exclusives is alarming. When it was mostly indie titles, I could understand it a lot more because when I've criticised Steam, I've often focused on the indies that get buried by the shit that goes up there. Metro was big and handled poorly. The Outer Worlds is where I realise that Epic's basically winning now. And Borderlands 3 just put some stank on that realisation. And it has reached a point where, as, as I said in a previous Jimquisition, it's aggressive but it's not competitive. At least in the eyes of normal people. But again, what they're doing is allowed. There's nothing stopping them doing it. In the eyes of catriple capitalism, this is competition. This is what it looks like. This is what it takes to compete. It takes being that fucking ruthless. It bas In order to be competitive, you need to be so ruthless that you are not actually competing. You're doing everything you can to crush, destroy, and discard the competition. You don't want to really compete. You just want to kill. Because at the end of the day, does Epic really want competition? Does any major company want actual competition? No. They would love a real monopoly, but a de facto one is the best they can do, where there's technically choice, but there's only one real game in town. The always edifying Casey Explosion had a great thread about this on Twitter, where they pointed out that Epic Games basically wants to supplant Steam's de facto monopoly and replace it with its own, putting us in basically the exact same position we've been in with Steam. Except maybe worse, because if Epic were to fulfil its end game, if any company were to fulfil its end game when it comes to services, what happens to the shit we have on the service that just got tanked? Companies in any industry want strangleholds of the market, and a stranglehold of the market is simply not good for for us, the customers. Competition is good. Real competition is great because it's the only thing that many companies respond to in order to improve their products. We've seen with broadband, when companies have fiefdoms and get to call the shots when they have a chokehold, they don't give a shit about the quality of your service. There are really two major things that companies respond to, competition and regulation. Now, I know many of you watching this will balk at the idea of companies being regulated for almost any reason, but at the same time, many of them still want Epic to not do what it's 
doing. The trouble is, Epic's a company. Tencent is a company. They're not going to stop doing what is working for them just because it might be the right thing to do. What you need are more checks and balances in place so that a company can't just roll up with a ton of money, buy everything that's on offer, and starve the other services out of business. And I hope what I'm suggesting here doesn't come across as ghastly to those of you who have a problem with the Epic's business model right now. Because you're simply not going to be able to moralise a corporation into doing something nicer. Ultimately, review bombing Borderlands 2 or something can provide catharsis for individuals. It can give them a sense of having done something. But Borderlands 2, The Outer Worlds, Metro Exodus, they're the trees, not the forest. Fact of the matter is, in this market, Epic is free to do this. And as many people in the game-buying public are learning right now, that's not great for you.